Welcome to Starter Beauty TV, where beauty starts with you. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Hey everybody, it's me, Starter Beauty, and I'm back today for a quick little video. <laughs> I always say they're quick. They're not always quick. I guess I'm a liar. Sorry. So today I'm on my way out to go shop with my mother and uh, she's like, hurry up, come on, come on. So I literally did my makeup in about 12 minutes. So um, yeah, boom, this is what I got. It's like a bronzy look. Uh, I have my hair in this twist out for like uh, the last week and they was looking crusty dusty like a little afro in the roots and it was just not cute so you will see that i'm sorry i wasn't cute though but i'm cute now so it took me about 10 minutes to transform from drab to fab honey and i did it quickly without too much color i'm not like i said i'm not a big colorful person but i will do color for youtube when you guys ask me but since i'm actually going outside I'm gonna look bronzy. Um, I put on my favorite lipstick by Ruby Kisses, sprayed some bronzer, tried a couple new things and it's not my typical way of doing my makeup. This is how I do my makeup in a rush. I only got 10 minutes to get the hell out of the house. So boom, here we go. Um, yeah, I might play with my hair a little bit more. So check updated pictures on Instagram. But this is what it looks like for now. I'm on my way out. Enjoy the video. Subscribe, comment, like, all of that. Boom. Love you guys. See you next video. So we're starting with spraying our face with some Smashbox primer, letting that dry a little, and then we're heading to the eyebrows. I've shown you this before, but I will link at the top my full eyebrow tutorial, just filling in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in chocolate, and cleaning it up with her contour palette, that uh, light brown shade. And then I like to use this little brush. It's like a concealer brush from Real Techniques. I got it from Ulta, and that's the brush I usually use to clean up the eyebrows. So moving on to the eyes, we're going to use a different primer than my normal. I'm using this one from City Color Cosmetics. Just using my finger, putting it all over the eyelid. And for eyeshadow today, we're going to use NARS Duo. It's like a bronzy duo. There's a charcoal color on one side and then a bronzy gold color on the other side. It's very simple and when I'm in a rush, this is, the this is my go-to palette. It's quick and the colors kind of work with everything. So... We'll go ahead and grab that. After we grab this Ruby Kisses color as a transition shade. And this is, I put this under the brows and in the crease and it just makes the colors blend a lot smoother. It's actually my exact color of my skin, but only in the winter time. So I should have used this as a foundation, which it is a powder foundation. But since I like liquid, I skipped it. So now to the NARS that I was talking about earlier. We're going to go ahead and use these brushes I got from Juvia's Place and we're putting that darker color in the outer V. And I didn't use colors to pack on because I really wasn't going for a hardcore shadow look today. Just a little color on the lid so I used these blending brushes to apply all the colors. That way it was a very very light application. I put the gold color in the on the lid and then I just blended it out with that same color I that same brush that I used from e.l.f. Blend them together and then move on. It's a very light dusting of shadow. We didn't go hard like normally, but we're not doing anything, you know, super significant today. So going for a casual look. We're gonna go ahead and use this NYX eyeliner, which somehow started to come out at the bottom. So random. Um, yeah, but I really like this eyeliner. It has a good staying power. It's super black, so I love it. And we're just going to do short strokes on the lash line. I don't line my bottom lashes because I don't like the closed off eye look. So that's enough. We're using our Benefit um, mascara, and we're going to go ahead and put that on the upper lid. And then I put it on the lower lid after I've put on my foundation and set everything. So just so you know, I do both lids. But um, both lashes, but I don't do the bottom ones until after the foundation is on. Now we're using our NARS foundation, which by now we all should know is too dark for me. But until this bottle is gone, I will not use anything else. I'm using this up. But if someone did tell me on Snapchat to get the Cover FX drops and make it lighter. So I'm going to do that next week. Until then, we will be using this foundation and then we'll take the... A concealer that's a lot lighter and highlight with it and just make it all work so this is the LA mm. 
LA somebody, LA <laughs> concealer, the pro concealer in cool tan. And we're going to go ahead and put that on very lazily because we are in a rush. Put it in our key spots, but just quickly. And then because I was moving too fast, I didn't wet my sponge. So I use this brush from Juvia's Place. It's like an angled buffer brush. And I went on and blended in the concealers. It's not fully blended. As you can see, some areas are blotchy, but that's also because I'm not done yet. Um, I actually put on some things on top of this, and then I used a different blender brush when I dusted off the um, baking. So it all came together. But yeah, so we blend out that concealer just lightly, and now we're using this uh, Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder, but in a darker shade. This is Honey Brown. Earlier was Caramel. This one is darker. This is what I'm using to just bronze my face. So we didn't do a cream contour. Thing, these are the things that I skip when I'm rushing. So we're going to use our Ben Nye powder. We're baking very lightly. Almost skipped this part, but you know, that foundation was too dark, so I couldn't. But I did go back. We're baking in our normal areas. And then to let it sit and make a good use of time, I went on and started to take my hair down which has been sitting like this for so long. Oh my God, do y'all see this right? Mm. Let, we will not make any more videos like this, I promise. So now that the hair is down, we're using this flat blender brush from e.l.f. and we're bluff, bluffing out all, <laughs> bluffing, <laughs> blending out <laughs> all the Ben Nye powder and dusting everything off and giving myself an extra buff to the skin. We're going to use this Maybelline blush. It's actually like a highlight bronze blush thing. It's a mixture from the studio collection, but I think it's more of like a bronzy blush on me. So I just used it as a blush. We also skipped the highlight, the, the shimmery highlight, because we highlighted enough. We're fine. Now we're putting on the Ruby Kisses Matte Color in Spicy Brown. It's a matte lipstick. I love this color. I had it on in a previous video and someone asked about it. So yes, this is my favorite shade from them. And their matte isn't as matte as I'd like it to be, but I still really love the color. Then we're going to spray with some Smashbox Primer and we're done with this look. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram.